Hey guys, so today I want to take a look here at the brand new iOS 7.1 beta 3 update here uh, for iPhones. So I do have it installed here uh, on my iPhone 5s. So let's take a quick little look at it and see what's new, see what's fresh. And you can see the boot up time here. And you can also see how clear on the white iPhone 5s, how clear you can see the black bar around the phone. So this new update brings some interesting stuff. Uh, first of all, you can see it's as speedy as it's uh, been uh, since the last updates in iOS that they've been speeding up like the UI. Also, you can see you can still get that slight little lag there. But uh, if you start off here uh, with the key things that they've changed, the first cool thing is that they have a new UI for power off. So you can see when I hold in the power off button, look at that. That's some pretty cool stuff. Um, so brand new UI here for power off. I gotta say it looks pretty epic uh, uh, compared to what they've been having before. So you get the text slide to power off and also a quick little console button down there uh, if you don't want to do it. Still ha have to hold it in for a few seconds then you just let go. You can still see, you can see it. I like that blur effect. Kind of matches the iOS 7 design here. Uh, another little thing here is that the phone it has got a different UI here, a little bit in the phone. Uh, you can see that most uh, buttons here in the dialer is new. Uh, you don't have a big button down here now. You have a small round round the button. You can see that if you would make a call, uh, it would also be rounded off there uh, with the, the buttons. So I just want to quickly show to you how it looks if you would get a call uh, with iOS 7.1 beta 3 by doing a quick little call here. So let's try it out with another little phone here. So you can see this is how it looks when you get, you can see the buttons there has changed. So that's how it looks, pretty cool. Uh, another little interesting thing here is that when you go into settings and you go to the wallpaper area, uh, you can see first of all, they made it another area here to you don't tap now no more. It seems like you just tap here, choose new wallpaper from what I can see. Still see, I think it's mostly the same wallpapers in here. Uh, but one thing that they've changed here is when you tap, uh, you can select parallax effect if it should be on or off, here motion on or off. So you can see that when you're moving, you see now it's on, now it's off, it doesn't move around. Interesting stuff. Uh, and then another little thing here is the green has started to become a little bit darker uh, on the messages icon, the phone icon, uh, and on the FaceTime icon. So they're slightly darker in tone compared to what you got in earlier versions of iOS. And uh, not a massive thing here. Another little thing here should be inside general. If you go down to accessibility and if we go to let's see here, not reduce motion, increase contrast. If you go into increase contrast here, you have reduced white point. Seems to be reducing the, the color of white there, I guess. So that could be something that, that is good to have over there. And uh, yeah, so just a quick little thing there. Uh, also, if you pop up uh, the Safari browser here, you can see that they slightly edited the text, search web or enter site name. It said something about search web or enter like address before. So slightly will change there in Safari. 
uh, iTunes Radio also, I don't have any songs in my music library here, but iTunes Radio have now a new button, uh, so you quickly make a new radio. Uh, another little thing is that when you have songs in music, uh, you now have a repeat, uh, and the shuffle button is a little bit more uh, when you have them like enable. Uh, I think specifically when you, live, when you have them enabled, you can see them in a little bit stronger color. Uh, another little thing here uh, that's kind of big is the keyboard update. So uh, the keyboard definitely here is changed. You can see a bolder text uh, and then also the, the shift key and the delete key seems to be a, a little bit edited here. I definitely do enjoy the keyboard update here uh, in the brand new version uh, of iOS. Uh, what do you think? I actually do enjoy it a ton here. Sweet, still have search web and Wikipedia like you always have had. Uh, so if there's anything specific you wanna see with this update, uh, maybe on this phone, definitely be sure to let me know about that. But yeah, just a quick little look here uh, on the iPhone 5S. Hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, please leave a like and hopefully I'll see you all in the next video. Yeah, peace out.